Oh guys, I am stoked. I have here an old sea rations box. November 1968, check it out. Right there, November 1968. Combat meal individual sea rations. They pulled it from cold storage. These things apparently were, were in cold storage in June of 1972. It's been out of the refrigerator for a while. <laughs> what does that make it? 72. Let's see. Right now, it's over 50 or right at 50 years old. So, out of cold storage, it's more than 50 years old. So, um, we're gonna pop this baby open and see. It's, see what happens. It's still sealed with metal yes. wire. Yep, it's That's still cool. the original November of 1968. Vietnam War was raging. Um, Tet Offensive, boy, there's a lot of stuff going on there. These things were destined for for probably combat somewhere, but for whatever reason, they, they didn't make it. And um, what's, we're gonna... the, what's the difference between a uh, MRE and a C-ration? That's a great, 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 that's a great question. Well, a C-ration, it was all canned. Everything's canned. Oh. Um, the MREs, it's a lot of um, uh, freeze-dried and sealed uh, you know, we've had, we've seen in previous video, first video is that. So, but the, but the the sea rations you'll see here, they're all canned. And what happens is because something's canned, you know, think about a can of vegetables. Even you know, over time, a lot of those things lose their seal. So we'll see. Let's let's see what happens. Some of the leakage uh, that you know that that seems to be a little bit of leakage. That may be a a bad sign. But let's let's see what happens here. There we go. Boy, this is. This is together pretty good, I think. Oh my, oh gosh, I see spaghetti and ground beef already. <laughs> oh, wait till I tell like you guys about these. Oh. oh my word, look at that. It's all uh, kind of dusty. Beans and meatballs and tomato sauce. Spaghetti with ground beef. Let, let me let me just pause real quick here. Let me show you guys. These were so cool. When I was in, okay, let me just show you. It's just a packet. And they, it's a can opener, but we didn't call them a can opener. They were called John Wayne's. And anybody who's in the military back in the day, these were called John Wayne's. And I think, I haven't done any research, but just from when I was a kid in the, in the military, in the Marine Corps, they were called John Wayne's because John Wayne used them when he filmed the movie Sands of Iwo Jima. It showed him using the can opener and that somehow they became known as John Wayne's after that. Now anybody can correct me in the comments, please feel free to do if there's some real history about that. But that's from boot camp on, that's what I understood. Don't know if it's true or not. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So it says um, Shelby Corporation, Shelby, Ohio, can opener. It just kind of shows you how to use it. I haven't used one of these for 40 years because 40 years ago, they stopped using sea rations in the Marine Corps when I was in, and um, we started using MREs. So, all right, let's open up our John Wayne here. There we go. That's it. <laughs> this little flap comes over. Oops, let's see if I can get it. Uh, they, they're a little tricky. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Like that. There, that's the sharp point. This whole thing along here is, is real sharp. And, and I'll show you how to use them here when we go to open one. But that's a John Wayne. You work your fingers pretty good. And then there's a little hole right there. You put them on your dog tags. Oh. And that way, so you'd close the little clasp there oh, so, so it would stay closed. And then you string it on your dog tags, take your dog tags off, and, and you, you'd always have a John Wayne. Now, on the package here, it says you should sterilize them. I don't know any guys that ever sterilize their John Wayne. So, all right, set the John Wayne aside. Oh, man, this thing is really tight. There we go. Wow. Well, the chicken and noodles probably has lost its... Uh, a seal at some point. Oh, there's the broken one right there. Yep, yep. Here are a couple more John Waynes. There we go. So you have to have the John Waynes in order to eat these. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta have a can opener. Bone chicken, beef steak, beef slices with potatoes and gravy, beans with frankfurters, chunks and tomatoes, chicken and noodles, beef with beef with spice sauce. That was probably my least favorite if I had one. Ham and eggs, that by far, I hope, I really hope that's a good one because that was my favorite meal bar none. Sliced pork and cooked, spaghetti with ground beef, beans with meatballs and tomato sauce, sliced ham cooked, and turkey loaf. Ooh. Turkey loaf. Man, I'm telling so you. Uh, this which is one exciting. are we going to open for this video? Well, I, I, I kind of, I'd love to open that ham and eggs, but 
I want to save it. I, I, I want to savor the idea of having a ham and egg. So see, uh, let's do a let's do a um, turkey loaf. It just sounds kind of a little little strange. We'll take out a turkey loaf. Let me set everything aside, guys. We'll open everything else later. Yeah. All right, turkey loaf. We've got some problems here. A little bit of leakage, definitely. All right, we've got your standard accessory packet. Cigarettes, oh, we've got cigarettes. Oh, cigarettes. Matches, yeah. chewing gum, toilet paper, instant coffee, cream substitute, sugar, and salt. Wow. Got our chewing gum in that, that's good. That's crazy. At what point did they stop putting cigarettes in them? Was it 72, I think, actually. I think it was 72. They stopped packing with cigarettes. It was somewhere in the, you know, I'd have to check that, but I think it was in the early 70s. Interesting. So there's our, uh, boy, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. Anyway, um, we got your spoon. Got to have a spoon. All right. Oh, blackberry jam, seedless. Hang on, let me, let me kind of polish that up a bit. It looks like this one might be in pretty good shape. Look at that, black. Sorry, blackberry jam right there. Wow. Isn't that cool? That and that, cool. that looks like it's in good shape all the way around. So that might be a, a real good one. This says open other end. Let's see what we, oh, I don't know what that is. Huh. huh you know, it, 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 oh, wait a minute. It, it might be pound cake. If it's pound cake, boom, this is a big deal. The seal looks pretty good. Um, we'll see. Okay, so now in that box, you see there are little little uh, dividers. And that was pretty standard. You had little dividers in there. And let's see what we've got here. So let, we'll pull our powder out first, which probably isn't gonna be any good. Cocoa beverage powder, there you go. Mix it with eight ounces of water. For hot cocoa, you add hot water. For cold cocoa, cold water. All right, we'll set that aside. Oh my word, look at this. What do we have here? Pineapple bits. That might be compromised. <laughs> it might be. It might be from another. Well, no, that probably. You're going to open all of it. Oh, we're going to open it all. Absolutely. But pineapple bits right there. Cool. Pineapple bits. Little dent in the can. It doesn't. Oh, yeah. It goes like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, unseen. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll see. And then turkey loaf. Oh, listen. That doesn't sound. <laughs> I don't think, there's turkey loaf right there, uh, and you can see the can itself is pretty rough shape. And listen to this, that doesn't sound right. I can see some holes right there, and actually there are holes that have worked its way through. So we'll, we'll have to see what it looks like. So that's everything out of our uh, meal combat individual turkey loaf B3A unit. Of course, to do this right, we have to have our handy dandy original Marine Corps tray, chow hall tray. So where should we start? Let's start, let's start with our packet and go through what we have in here. Let's take a look here. In fact, I'm gonna set this upside down because there's a lot of dust and powder. Set that upside down first. All right, so we've got cream substitute. We have our instant coffee. We have our salt. Matches, we always have to try our matches. If you're a guy, you always have to try the matches. Oh yeah, right up, boom. You light those very well. I always like takes two or three uh, <laughs> two or three strikes before I can get it. Well, there we go, we got oh, matches. Don't know what to say about that. And I we've got- done it a lot. Yeah, yeah. We've got the old toilet paper. We've been through that before. Ooh, got some chiclets gum. That's, that's a different packaging. That's from the 60s, no doubt. Hmm. We got our sugar and Newport menthol cigarettes from 1968. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, king size filtered cigarettes. At my age, I don't, uh, I don't think I'm going to be smoking that. Sorry to say, but I think uh, at my age, I'd like to go a little longer, make a few more videos, and I think I'm going to let that one pass by. I want you, I want you around for a long time. Yeah, there's, thank you. <laughs> All right, how cool. I expect at least 20 or 30 more years there we go. with you. All right, all right, that's a deal. So let's, let's flip this over now. We're gonna go ahead and load our tray. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these all right there. And let's see, let's start off 
on the mystery. We don't know what this is, a B3A unit open other end. So we'll, we'll, we got that there, we'll flip it around, get out our John Wayne. So you flip the old John Wayne open and you just make the uh, initial, there, there's a notch right there. So you put that notch on the edge of the can and just, I didn't hear, pss, so that's not a good sign. So, and you just crawl that thing around and you get, when you're, when you're out in the field, you get really efficient and fast at this. I'm not doing too bad for not having done it for 40 years, I guess. So we go around. Oh, I do think this is a pound cake. Oh my gosh. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> oh, too. this is cool. Yeah, this is way cool. This is way cool. Oh, oh no, it's crackers. Okay. See, shows how long I've been out of action. I forgot there have to be crackers. So there are the crackers. Oh, shoot. I was wanting to see a cake. Yeah. Well, we'll, we we'll probably have one in there somewhere, but now these are a little worse for the wear. It looks like, uh, let's see here. Let me tip that upside down. Oh, wait a minute. We got something underneath there too. Oh yeah. Ooh, see, it has been iron. a long time. So, so we've got our crackers. That one's crumbled a little bit, cracked a little bit, but they're still in remarkably good shape. Call them hard tack, right? <laughs> okay. And then let's see, this looks like it might be a fudge. Let's see here. Oh, look at that chocolate fudge. Oh, crazy. You know, that's going to be good. It's a little, a uh, little hard. Uh, <laughs> all right. So yeah, it's a little, <laughs> little, little hard. Okay, now we're gonna open up our blackberry jam. We want to get that rust out of there because I do want to eat this. All right, get our John Wayne out again. These John Waynes last forever too. Oh, did you hear that? Uh -huh. That's a good sound. That probably means we're good. Oh yeah, there's liquid in there. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm, I like the smell of this stuff. This is gonna be fun. And as you get to the end, you can see the, the lid starts to peel up a little bit. So what you can do is leave just that little bit on and then whoosh, you do have to be real careful. These are always really sharp, but look at that. Let's smell it a minute. Well, well, dang, it kind of smells a little like metal. Mm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So we're going to set that right on top of the fudge. There we go. All right. Next one, pineapple bits. It, it that's not a good sign usually i don't think when those things oh yeah yeah so pineapple chunks here we go let's see what happens here listen to this oh yeah you hear that the trick is to get right on the edge of where you just were to get the mo most munch for your buck when you're going around it otherwise you're drink 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 a whole bunch of little tiny ones here we go pineapple bits here we, oh that don't look so good that don't look like pineapple. No, I'm, I'm not thinking we're going to dip into that at all. Um, yeah. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Uh, I don't know what to say. Smells like an odd mixture of metal and burn. Burnt metal. Uh, yeah, it's, it, I, oh, I could almost, yeah. Anyway, no, we're not going anywhere with that one. Mm -hmm. We're going to move our smokes over with our, with our matches. Move this stuff over here. I'm going to set that right there. All right, now for, we already know turkey loaf ain't going to make the cut. Well, actually this had, uh, does this tell me? Yeah, turkey meat, turkey skin, cracker meal, turkey fat, salt, and monos monosodium glutamate. So, um, yeah. Boy, just even, I mean, even though the side of this thing was compromised, just doing this, it smells. It, it's, <laughs> yeah, mm, wow. And even the lid, I can feel the lid at certain points is real thin going through the lid. So it's, I'm thinking it's, it's coming apart from the inside. Oh boy. All right. Are we ready for this? Turkey loaf explained. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mm. Well, all the rust in there. <laughs> it smells like chemical and metal. It don't mm. smell like nothing edible. Ooh. Look at the, yeah, yeah, we had a little compromise there. So there's our turkey. <laughs> We're going to pour out our pineapple. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, let me get my spoon mm. here. Oh, well, that's bad. Looks like ink. 
Yeah. Um, let's see how this comes out. Or does it? Oh my word. Oh, there we go. Wow. It's like charcoal. It is. It is. That's what it, it's like charcoal. And, and now it, it's starting to smell. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells like lighter fluid almost. Uh-huh. Mmm. Wow. Wow, that's, that's, you know, I can tell they're pineapple chunks from the form, the shape of them. But, yeah, they're uh, still in the shape of pineapple chunks. I don't know if I can get any more chunks out of there. It's all kind of melded together. Wow, welded, melded there. Oh, there we go. Got a big, look at that. Golly. There we go. There's our pineapple chunks. <laughs> don't want to miss out on any of them. There we go. Wow. Mm. Pineapple so chunks. Are you going to try a bite? No. Oh, okay. no. Not even. No, no, no. So then we'll go over here to our uh, jelly, seedless blackberry jelly. That looks remarkably similar to the, um, to the pineapple. <sighs> you can see a little bit of purple left in there, can't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then we will, we will have to... Um, Open our fudge. Uh, oh yeah, that's not probably so good. That just that was super dry. It just ripped right open. Let's see here. Well, uh, I want to keep a little bit. Of, I might try a little bit of the fudge. I want to keep a clean spot for that. Fudge doesn't look too bad to me. <clears throat> well, maybe I'll let you try it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, so let's do this. We're gonna clean off our spoon really well. Tuck into that blackberry, because it still has a little bit of a motor oil pur uh, purple <laughs> color to it. Kind of. Ew. It doesn't smell right. No. No. No, no way. No way. Mm. Nope. So the pineapple is out. The turkey loaf is out. I'm keeping myself out of the smokes. The blackberry jam, even though it's seedless, out. Well, we've, the best bet we've got here are the crackers, the fudge, and the gum. Whew. All right. Let's see here. So let's try a little chocolate. First, let's break it open and see. Oh well, look at oh, that. Wow. Like a like a chocolate inside of a chocolate there. Oh, that's not doesn't look too bad. No. It kind of it it doesn't smell bad. I can smell a little chocolate smell, a little um, medicinal smell maybe. Let's see here. Tastes like probably all I'm going to eat of that one. Uh, <laughs> it tastes like you know uh, chocolate. Is, chocolate is made with milk. It tastes like the milk is sour. Honestly, <laughs> it's it's like uh, sour milk chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, that doesn't taste very good. The longer it, it, it hangs on and then it turns color on your mouth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try a little hard tack, see if we can get that uh, taste out of our mouth with something hopefully a little better. Now these are a little softer. That was kind of, that wasn't like a 15 year younger uh, MRE crackers, but let's see what... I eat these. The pity we didn't get any uh, peanut butter or cheese sauce with them but no those aren't bad those aren't bad of course the last thing to get a, give a try here chiclets flavor coated gum out of new york that's crazy wow okay flavor coated gum mm -hmm. huh. it's um made of gum base sugar corn syrup starch and natural flavors as opposed <laughs> to unnatural well, again, like the last video, I'd like to share one with you if you'd like. <coughs> All right. By the way, those crackers are really drying my mouth out. I mean, like, it's just sucking the moisture out of my mouth. That's crazy. They're okay when you first put them in your mouth, but, I mean, the, the corners of my mouth are, like, 
are, are totally drying out. <laughs> yeah, not so good. Ooh, man, it's getting worse. <laughs> gum will help. Yeah, cheers. let's try. Here, cheers to the gum. Comes through every time. That is good. Mm-hmm. That's like a peppermint. Mm-hmm. Dang. That's a shelf life for gums, like a hundred years old or something. Yeah, it is. It's peppermint gum. Man, that's good. It's just as good now as it was. That's way to wrap. Sure. <laughs> that's way to wrap this meal up, man. Mm-hmm. Because that that cracker is still sucking the, the the moisture out of the sides of my. I mean, it's like I don't know what's in them, but yeah, I gotta liquefy <laughs> the sides here. Get some. I like the gum though. No, that's, mm. that's actually really good gum. That is really good gum. Well, guys, not a lot there. The gum was good, but we do have eleven more. So uh, stay tuned. Appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for watching.